The random jottings of Donald J. from Nelson in Pendle. Drunken Cavalier Billinge, Stork Hotel, also known as Stork Inn. Haunting manifestation further comments, this drunken cavalier was once seen in the men's toilets and can sometimes be heard moving around at night. In the quaint village of Billinge stood the historic Stork Hotel, affectionately known by the locals as the Stork Inn. The centuries-old building exuded an air of elegance and mystery, its walls echoing with tales of the past. One such story that lingered in the hushed whispers of the villagers was that of the drunken cavalier. Legend had it that during the turbulent times of the English Civil War, a dashing cavalier had frequented the Stork Inn. Sir William Huntington, a flamboyant and boisterous nobleman, had sought solace within the comforting embrace of the inn's walls. Clad in his resplendent red coat and adorned with a plume-topped hat, Sir William was known for his insatiable thirst for both ale and adventure. On a fateful winter's night, as the snowflakes fell gently upon the village, Sir William Huntington arrived at the Stork Inn, his breath heavy with the chill of the bitter winds. His boisterous laughter echoed through the halls, drawing the attention of patrons who gathered around to revel in his tales of war and conquest. As the night grew darker and the ale flowed freely, Sir William's mirth turned into drunken stupor. He stumbled through the inn, finding his way to the men's toilets, where he sought solace from the chaos of battle that haunted his mind. It was here, within the dimly lit confines, that the spirit of the drunken cavalier found its eternal abode. Over the years, the presence of Sir William's apparition became a haunting manifestation in the Stork Inn. Some claimed to have seen a translucent figure clad in a vibrant red coat stumbling through the hallways, searching for his lost comrades. Others whispered of hearing the faint clinking of a tankard, as if Sir William still sought his beloved ale even in the realm of spirits. Night after night, the inn's current occupants would occasionally catch a glimpse of the drunken cavalier, swaying from side to side as he traversed the ancient corridors. His ethereal presence became a peculiar comfort to some, a reminder of the inn's rich history and the battles fought on its doorstep. Intrigued by the tales of the drunken cavalier, a local historian named Amelia set out to uncover the truth behind the haunting manifestation. Armed with a journal filled with historical accounts, she delved deep into the annals of the English Civil War and the life of Sir William Huntington. Through her meticulous research, Amelia unearthed the tragic fate of the Cavalier. Sir William had met his demise on a snowy night, betrayed by a fellow soldier in the heat of battle. His body lay abandoned on the blood-soaked fields, his spirit forever tied to the inn where he had sought refuge from the horrors of war. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Amelia ventured into the stalk in one moonlit night. As the clock struck midnight, she stood in the hallway where the drunken cavalier had last been seen. With utmost respect, she whispered a heartfelt plea for Sir William's restless soul to find peace and forgiveness. As if in response to her entreaty, a gentle breeze caressed Amelia's cheek, carrying with it the faint sound of laughter. The air grew still, and a sense of tranquility washed over the inn, as if a burden had been lifted. From that night forward, the sightings of the drunken cavalier became rarer, and the echoes of his steps grew fainter. Though the tales of the drunken cavalier continue to circulate among the villagers, the stork inn stands as a testament to a bygone era. Its walls hold the secrets of the past, and those who visit can't help but wonder if Sir William's spirit still lingers, watching over the inn that had once been his refuge. By Donald J.